Hey everyone, Rick here, and it is pretty late on a Saturday night, and it's thundering and lightning outside, so pretty spooky. Um, I really need to lighten the mood around here, so what better way to do that than by unboxing a few sets of Calico Corners baby figures. And so I have five sets that I'm going to unbox in this video. Four of them are going to be twins and one pack of triplets. And I'm doing a little something different with the camera this time. I have it stationary so I can use both hands. So you won't have the shaky camera syndrome. At least not too much unless I bump the table or something. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. This is my first unboxing of anything Calico Critters related. I want to start right here in the middle with the baby pigs. How cute are they? Their little outfits. Looks like they're all similar styles, but maybe... with a couple differences and of course different colors so let's see what we've got here when we take a closer look so obviously since this is the first time I've ever unboxed anything calico critter I don't know what this is now I have actually seen some other unboxings so I might actually know Wow, just look at all that stuff. All those sets. Man. There's a lot of stuff to collect. That deluxe village house right here looks really, really cool. I wish that was still available. Maybe it is. I'll have to take another look on eBay. But all sorts of stuff. So, I mean, Man, that's just great. But anyway, so here are the stars of this pack. These pig triplets. Man, how adorable. So they're just stuck in there with some little plastic bands, it looks like. So let me do away with those really quickly here. And we will pop out the pigs. The piglets, rather. And they were pretty well secure. I almost think maybe scissors would be better for these than a knife. But we'll do with what we've got, even if it sends one of the little pigs flying. Oh my gosh. This is the first time I've ever even felt a calico critter. Now I've heard the term flocked used to describe them, the, the feel of them. And I, I suppose that's pretty accurate. Um, it's definitely a soft, almost like a very, very, very fine, short fur. But wow. So even posability in the arms there. The head, yes. The head looks like it does have some motion to it. I don't want to go too hog wild, <clears throat> pun intended. And they have the little leg movement it looks like so they'd be able to sit down maybe with some effort how about that we might get there eventually oh there we go that is just so cute wow whoever is in charge of the design of the figures has my absolute kudos because just the way that they've shaped the face and how they designed the eyes and the nose and the mouth it just ends up being irresistibly adorable and then package that with some cute little removable outfits. Don't forget, you can change the clothes on your figures. Then what you end up with is just the most adorable little baby figures that you'll ever see. 
So, and that's just the first of many. So let's see what happen what what else we have. Now are the do these actually have their own names? I don't know. Somewhere I thought they did all have names. But I could be wrong. I wonder maybe on the front? Yes, in fact they do. On the front of the box. Marcus, so this was Marcus. That is so cute. And so this is Rosie. And we also have Lisa, who still has some of the plastic straps on her. She is carrying those around. Look at Lisa. Man, that is so cute. So it looks like they are exactly the same what would you call it? Sculpt, maybe, or just design? All three of them have the same design. They are the three same basic figure with different outfits. And they do actually have some... No, I guess they don't have a difference in, in the pattern. I think that maybe because I thought maybe that was a different pattern on Rosie's than on Marcus's, but I think Marcus's might just be scrunched up. And if you pulled it out or fold it down, it would end up being like the rest. So I think that that's probably the case. But either way, again, with as with all of them, posable and adorable how cute is that so lisa didn't get much camera time yeah she's pretty much ready to take a walk all right so those are the official name is the oinks pig triplets that is so cute. Now that's one thing I don't that I didn't see. Is there an, a pig family with a mom and a dad pig? I'm looking on this cheat sheet. Yes, there is. There actually is an Oink's pig family. I may have overlooked them because I just think that is also a really cute family. But man, so these are just so soft. I can see how younger kids would love to just play with these because they are, what's the word, tactile? Because they're very soft to the touch and posable. So you can do whatever you want with them. So there we go. Lisa's ready for bed already. So we are going to move all this out of the way. And... See what's next. We already spent eight minutes on the pig triplets. Oh no, I want to leave the cuddle bears for last. So next we are going to go with the Chihuahua Dog Twins. Sister Lola and Brother Pedro. Okay, well let's open the box. And these cute couple, this cute couple, has some accessories included in the box so it's not just the figures here and again same deal little advertisement packet in there and here we go another couple of plastic bands it looks like and you don't even actually need to cut these off apparently the cardboard flaps you could just pull the bands around but you know we like to make things more complicated than they have to be. I almost wonder if that would be better for something like this. Just tear it out of there. There we go. And the bottle falls right out of there. Okay, perfect. Get all these extra straps out of the way. No, so these are not posable. These are going to be the way that these babies are permanently posed. But hey, wouldn't you pose them like this anyway? Because they are just too cute the way they are. Are their heads? I don't want to break them. I don't want to decapitate Pedro. So 
I think that they are completely stationary like that. If I'm wrong, let me know, because I'd like to know that. Okay, so these two, I think, do have different outfits, because Pedro just has on a pair of pants or shorts or a nice cloth, fancy, Hawaiian-looking diaper, and Lola has on a cute little dress of some description. But again, oh, look how cute. And they are just as soft as can be. Look at that face. Are you kidding me? Are you going to say no to that face if he wants a treat? Okay, so let's see what we got. And also the accessories. We have a little tiny bottle. Okay, you've got to be kidding me. This is what I'm talking about with Calico Critters uh, detail. Uh, can you even pick that up on the camera? There are level markers on the bottle. This bottle is tiny. It's about it's like about as big as your pinky nail. And yet they decided to add level lines to the bottle as if you were wanting to measure how full you wanted to make it. I think that's just awesome. And there's the end of the bottle which should fit right in Lola's mouth and yes it does look at that <laughs> now she has a good grip on it with her teeth she's teething and she can just hold it just like that in her mouth alternatively Pedro can do the same they are talented Chihuahua twins also the little binky. Let's see if that'll focus. That's just really tiny though. I don't know. What do you think? There we go. That's really good. So that's, even that has a nice shape to it. And you can just pop that in there. And <laughs> are you kidding me? How cute is that? That's adorable. Okay, so there they are, the Chihuahua twins, Lola and Pedro, in all their glory. They're going to take their bottle and binky, and they are going to join the piglet triplets. Okay, next. Oh, let's go with the Cottontail Rabbit twins. Now, these two, Sister Angelica and Brother... What is that? Comfrey? C-O-M-F-R-E-Y. If that's the way I'm reading it, Brother Comfrey. I've never heard of the name Comfrey before. Very interesting. Let's take a look, a little bit of a closer look at the Cottontail Rabbit Twins. Handy sheet there and we're not even going to cut it this time we're just going to see if they'll slip out of the rubber bands and that was easy enough and there we go so there you are. and now these heads do turn so that makes me wonder if the chihuahua heads actually turn so you can do that oh he wants to say hi comfrey wants to say hi That'd be hilarious if I just slaughtered the pronunciation of his name and just kept saying it wrong over and over and over again. But anyway, Angelica is easy enough to pronounce. So there is Sister Angelica. And of course, she's looking as adorable as ever with her pink bow and outfit. Brother Comfrey with his, I have to assume, blue diaper and bow ensemble absolutely cute again the faces are masterfully crafted for the optimal cuteness they are very very soft to the touch and just wonderful additions to any calico critters family so we will move these two over with the rest of their baby friends. I think they're already getting in trouble 
with the piglet triplets and we are moving on now to the what is that the L Woods Elephant Twins. We have Ellie, imagine that, Ellie the Elephant, and Evan. Ellie and Ellen, oh my gosh. Ellie and Evan. Ellen wouldn't be a bad name for an elephant kid either. I wonder if maybe one of their siblings might be named Ellen. But no, this is Ellie and Evan. And let's just have a peek at what these two adorable critters are up to. Yeah. So here we go again. Looks like the same deal. Yeah, so those turn. Let's just grab a Chihuahua baby and see. Should this have turned? Oh, ho, ho, there we go. It's a bit stiff but it does turn, so there you go. Okay, excellent. And these faces. Look at those little faces. Just absolutely cute as can be. So soft. The different colors, like you see in their ears, you'll have pink in there, even on the tip of their nose. I don't know how well that comes across on camera but even the tip of their nose has some pink on it. And they're just so happy to be out of the box, finally. So there you have the elephant twins. Oh man, they are just adorable. So they're going to scamper on over and play with the rest. And it is a big pile of babies over there, literally. I'm not just saying that because they're all crying and screaming. They are actually babies. So last but not least, if you saw my last video, you know how I feel about the entire Cuddle, oh man, Cuddle Bear family. And these babies are no exception. Again, we have a bottle. And I'm going to mention another detail about this bottle and this binky that just goes along with how I feel about calico critters in general. You know it's late when I start to slur my words. I must have had a drink or two from the Cloverleaf Corners supermarket. Okay, so these two, what are their names? We have Sister Casey and Brother Bradley. So here's Bradley. You can already tell he's probably the mischievous one of the two. But I don't know. Because Casey... Ho oh, ho. Casey looks awfully spontaneous as well. So, the Cuddle Bear twins. Okay, so they once again have accessories of their own, a bottle with the level lines and a binky pacifier, I guess I should say. What do I want to comment on about the accessories? That they're in different colors. How cool is that? Again, other companies, they might come out with bottle accessories for their little ones. They might even put level lines on the bottle. I doubt it. But they might just come in one color. No, Calico Critters, you're not just going to have one color. So now you know that this is, what's her name's Binky? And they have their own bottles. Of course, after giving them a thorough washing, it won't necessarily matter. But you can match their bottle to their outfit now. So what is that? Casey. So Casey, because she's wearing that cute as can be pink diaper, can now have the pink bottle. We're just going to need some blue accessories for Bradley because right now he's surrounded by... This isn't pink. This is almost an orange. Or a peach, maybe. So he's going to be looking forward to something blue for him. But he's actually kind of a fan of yellow, so can't remember whose pacifier this was. But Bradley, 
He's been a little talkative tonight, so I think it's time for a pacifier and a bottle for him. And he and his sister are going to come right back out because we are going to line up all the babies that we have unboxed. Brothers and sisters alike are going to come out for one final goodbye for the night because it's time. It's way past their bedtimes. There is no denying that. Oh boy, so many babies. Can I even get them all on screen? We'll do our best. I we'll have to put some in between the others just to get them all to fit. Oh no, and then they fall over. See, I wonder if the pig triplets are actually babies or if they're infants. I think I asked that in my last video. So let's see if that'll focus on the baby. So there you have it. There are my Calico Critter babies for right now. Oh, what is that? Ten of them. Eleven. Eleven babies. Now, are you going to say that I'm crazy for getting so many of these triple baby bunk beds? I'm going to need them. I just shoved some of the babies out of the way. I'm tired. They're tired. We are going to bed. Thank you so much for watching. There will definitely be more. And until next time.